Now, the first and fundamental question is, why do we actually study probability? Life is unpredictable and the concepts of probability help us understand the nature of chance and variation in life. If we look at quantum level, we have Heisenberg uncertainty principle and we have developed probabilistic models of atomic structures to understand the nature of basic blocks of creation. And if we come to our day-to-day -day life, informally, we use probability all the time. In one of the landmark education courses, there was this profound statement, man is a meaning-making machine. So inherently, all the time, we are assessing information and we are predicting outcomes. From guessing the outcome of a cricket match to the probabilistic score in an examination, we do it all the time. Now, probability theory is being used in numerous fields such as meteorology, insurance, healthcare, research, space exploration, game theory, gambling, and many, many more. The most important practical application of probability is in the field of statistics. We use probability to create real life models based on variable distribution, normal distribution, and then we conduct tests on hypothesis. And based on it, we use time series analysis, bivariate analysis, inferential analysis, and experiments. Another area in which probability is used extensively is in understanding risks and relative risks. Probability is commonly used to measure the vulnerability of any particular disease and that information is used by researchers and government to plan and deliver healthcare services. In space exploration also risk assessment is done in carrying out an expedition. So whether or not we are aware of it but probability is pervasive and all encompassing and that is the fun of it. Now heart of probability lies in permutations and combinations. So in order to have a strong grasp at probability, you must understand permutations and combinations well. If you know permutations and combinations, that is more than half the job done. So if you are new to probability, my recommendation is go back to permutations and combinations, strengthen your concepts and then come back to study probability. You'll find it much more easier and interesting that way. I do have a compendium video on permutations and combinations. So what I'll do is I'll provide the link to that video in the description below. You can visit that video and come back again for probability.